Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is Beach Troll. What I'm dealing with today, I bought this Anderson Storm Door. It's a 4000 series. I bought this at Home Depot about four or five years ago. The problem I'm having, there are four hinges on this door. Three and four down here. The top two are off track. I'll zoom in so you can see. That's the top one. You can see how there's a gap. You can see how there's a gap at the top of the hinge. And this one as well. So when the door closes, it's offline right there. And then when the door closes all the way, it pops in which it's not supposed to do. So what I had to do was order a new Z-Bar. This whole piece with the hinges on it is called the Z-Bar. Now you're kind of limited as to where you can buy this. I looked online and the only place I found that actually sells this is a, a website that makes the doors. It's Anderson, A-N-D-E-R-S-E-N. And you have to buy the whole Z-Bar strip with the four hinges. They cost roughly about $65. So I have a new one, which I'm going to install. But just to give you a heads up, when I put this door in originally, I had to cut a couple of inches off the bottom to let it fit in. So with the new Z-Bar, I'm going to have to do the same thing. I'm going to take off the old one, line it up with the new one, and just use a hacksaw and just cut off the excess that will prevent it from fitting in. So let's get started. When you go to order the Z-Bar online, if you look on the inside of your door frame of your storm door, you'll see a sticker and it'll have a serial number. You need to enter that serial number on the website in order to get the correct Z-Bar for your door. What I did just to hold the door open, uh, I just used some nylon rope and just tied it to the railing just to keep the door open to make it easier to get the screws out from the hinges. Now I've already got most of the screws out. I have all eight screws out from along the felt. What you want to do is just close the screen door as best you can. And that'll take the tension off the tension bar. And then you can just push this pin up and take that out. And the same thing on the bottom pin. And that'll come right out. You can take the tension bar out from the bottom and from the top as well. Just make sure you have a grip on the door because you're going to move the door out of the door frame. I'm on the outside of the door obviously and I'm looking at the Z-Bar and if you look to the right of it, there's this uh, plastic piece that runs down the whole Z-Bar, this trim. You want to get yourself a flathead screwdriver. And at the very top of the trim, just pop it off. And you're just going to slide your fingers down. And that'll take off the trim. We're going to reuse this, although we did get a new one with the new Z-Bar. And taking off that trim reveals additional screws that you have to take out. There's six screws in total on the outside. Same thing Phillips said. Now with those six screws out, the Z-Bar will come right off. Okay, as you can see, the Z-Bar on the right is the new one. And it's taller, or I should say it's longer than the old one. I had to trim off the old one when I put the door on originally, four years ago. 
So we're just going to line these two up together and use a hacksaw and just trim off what we need to trim off. And there we go. Have the new Z bar. I'm going to put that on the door, the door frame. Just line up the holes with the pre existing holes. And we're going to put those six screws back in the front of the Z bar. One thing that's kind of a pain in the rear end is getting this trim back on. But the easiest way to do it is put the inside edge on first. Now I'm going to put in the four sets of two screws right by the felt so that's eight screws in total with the Z bar back on the door frame I'm going to take the door itself and stand it up against the hinges and I'm going to start screwing in all eight screws to each of the four hinges Okay, all the components are back together. So we're gonna test this out, open the door. It sounds quieter already. And we'll check out this hinge. And that's in line, which is great. And the same thing with this one. And it's nice and quiet. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, kindly click like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. You can check out my channel uh, or my playlist. I have a lot of videos on car maintenance and house maintenance. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a happy Thanksgiving. I know this video will probably be out there after Thanksgiving, but enjoy your holiday. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.